Today, the defendant himself, Wavy Jones, who is accused of involuntary manslaughter, took the stand. He insists that he did nothing wrong and he rejects the claims from prosecutors that he forcefully pressed down onto Otieno's body in that Central State Hospital admission room. And it appears that Otieno's mother was not happy with the prosecutor's questioning of Jones as she called their cross-examination of him, quote, weak. Jones, who is a former hospital security employee, said that he stepped in to help restrain Otieno because Henrico deputies lost control of him and could not secure him themselves. He said his goal was to keep Otieno on his side, but that Otieno kept trying to roll over onto his stomach, which is a dangerous position. Jones said he did not put his body weight onto Otieno. Jones said Otieno was a danger to himself, but that he was not a danger to other officers and staff. The defense also called on two Henrico deputies who were formerly charged with second degree murder in this case, but those charges were set aside. Deputy Dwayne Bramble described Otieno as dangerous, violent, and one of the most challenging inmates he's ever experienced at the Henrico jail. There, Bramble claimed that Otieno tried to gouge his eyes out and strangle him. The defense played video of a naked Otieno in his isolated jail cell before he was transported to Central State Hospital in a mental health crisis. He was said to be yelling incoherent words. Defense attorneys also showed a mental health evaluation of Otieno, which showed that he was homicidal, aggressive, agitated, manic, had not slept in six days, was nonsensical, and responding to internal stimuli. The defense is now calling on medical experts, two of which have said they disagree with the state medical examiner's determination that Otieno died while having the inability to breathe while being restrained. They say that he actually died of a sudden cardiac death. In Dinwiddie County, I'm Tyler Lane, CBS 6 News.